Hi, I'm with Innerspace Industries, and now I will show you how to reprogram the keyboard commands that the MicroQ2 gives to your computer. You must choose a PS2 keyboard. It is possible to change the commands to the computer to other keyboard commands. Now open a text document and insert some characters. Use the handset to make sure that the cursor moves with the appropriate cues. Push the black button and make sure a lowercase b appears. To begin programming, push down the presenter control button so that only port A side is lit. Hold it here until the display shows the color you would like. In this case, we want green, which means the next button. Now choose the keyboard command that you would like. I will choose R. Now hold down the presenter control button again to reset the power. Now when I push the green next button, an R appears. When I push the black button, a B appears. And when I hit the red back button, the cursor moves to the left. To program the other buttons on the handset, hold down the presenter control button so that only port A side is lit. Then wait for the display to change colors. To change the red back button, wait for the display to show red. Then release the presenter control button. To change the black button, wait for the display to show amber. If at any time you release the presenter control button and push it again, the previously stored commands or default settings will remain the same. To program port B, plug in the other USB cable. In order to program port B, you must have both port A and B USB cables connected at the same time. To program port B, press the presenter control button down until only port B side is lit. Now hold the presenter control button until the display shows the color of the button that you would like to reset. The display will do the same as when port A is lit, showing green, red, and amber. The same steps apply for port B as port A, so to reset the power, push the button after the command from the keyboard has been set. To reset port A to the factory default settings, turn over the MicroQ2. Hold down the presenter control button so that only port A side is lit, then push the learn button once. When I let go of the presenter control button, you will see on the display that the power has been reset. Now I will unplug the USB cable connected to the port B side. Now push the presenter control button so that only port A side is lit. Now as I use the handset, the cursor moves left and right back to its original default settings. I hope this was helpful. Have a nice MicroQ2 day.